And lastly, in a story that has seen a lot of coverage in various Western media outlets, perhaps even more so in Western media than in Chinese media, would have to be the death of a 23-year-old Chinese flight attendant that was killed allegedly by an electric shock while answering a call on her iPhone 4 while it was still being charged. Now, the story broke over Weibo a couple of days ago, and pictures of the girl wearing her work uniform as well as her recent wedding photo were posted. And as you can probably imagine, the posts won over a lot of sympathy from Chinese internet users. Now, her sister posted the information of her death on Weibo and was asking for an explanation from Apple. Now, according to Reuters, Apple issued a statement saying that they are deeply saddened by the incident and that they will fully investigate and cooperate with authorities. However, the tone was a little different when Dragon News conducted their own investigation with an Apple rep. Now, during a televised telephone interview broadcast live on air, an Apple representative stated that the iPhone is not supposed to be used while it was being charged, and that using the iPhone while it was being charged could run the risk of possible electrocution. And according to the South China Morning Post, the young woman might have been using a knockoff iPhone charger at the time of her death. Now, I'm sure a lot of people out there are wondering if their iPhone is a ticking death machine, and many Chinese internet users are worried as well. So now let's take a look at some of their concerns. I think it's a problem with the charger and not the phone. The phone doesn't run on enough voltage to actually kill someone. How ridiculous. There is no warning that cell phones are dangerous. If a cell phone really can kill people, then the mobile phone company should be fined, should pay compensation, and recall their products. Is it true? I have heard that iPhones can explode, but I have never thought that it could kill through electrocution. The report is not objective enough. The girl was using a charger at the same time as her phone, so it could just as likely be a problem with the charger as it is with the phone. It's silly that the iPhone, while it's being charged. Oh great, so now people are going to say that the iPhone is bad because it was made in China. Now this is not the first safety issue to have hit the iPhone. Allegedly, an first safety issue to have hit the iPhone. Allegedly, an iPhone user in Thailand claimed that his iPhone 5 handset started to get hot and emitted smoke while he was taking a call. He then claimed that he quickly threw it on the ground and then his iPhone 5 exploded. Also in China, a young man claimed that his iPhone 4 had exploded while he slept. Now, he kept his phone by his bed and from the pictures that he posted online, it looked like he could have died if the iPhone was placed a little bit closer to his head. Now, local police investigation into the matter pointed to a faulty component in the phone, but we'll have to wait for more conclusive results from Apple to know for sure. Now, if these accidents are a result of Apple's own faulty components and not that of some third-party device, then it's possible that something similar might happen in the U.S. So don't keep your iPhones by your bed.